having dealt with history, introduced uh, some of the concepts and, and started talking about uh, some of the terminology, uh, we'll just make sure that we've uh, covered all the bases in, in terms of the basic terms, the basic jargon uh, that we're dealing with. We have mentioned algorithms. Uh, the algorithms are... Um, well, it's, it's the heart of the, the system, but it's not the system itself. Uh, when, when we're talking about a chip, a device, a piece of software, that's the crypto system. And that is what somebody gets to attack. And they don't necessarily have to break the algorithm um, if we have been sloppy in the implementation. And it's always the implementation details that uh, get get broken there. So crypto system, uh, the, the system itself, the overall system, sometimes is as big as the software plus the whole array of things called the public key infrastructure. We'll get into that. Uh, the algorithm, the heart of the system. The key, uh, the uh, it was sometimes known as crypto variable. Um, that's that's what we need. And of course, the metric algorithms. You know, both people need it in order to encrypt and then decrypt. Uh, use the same key. Um, there is a concept called key space or address space, where you know how many possible keys are there, and this um, goes to issues like. Uh, uh, brute force attacks. You know, can you try all possible keys? Um, key clustering. Interesting concept that um, sometimes two keys, two different keys, will result in the same encryption of the same plaintext. So um, that betrays some kind of weakness in, in the algorithm. Uh, so, you know, if you find that, uh, watch out. Um, work factor. How hard is it for somebody to break the system? And, uh, you know, there is always a brute force... To, uh, sorry. <laughs> always except for the one-time pad. Uh, you, you can do a brute force attack. Um, you can do a brute force attack against a one-time pad, but you'll never know if you're correct. Uh, so, uh, the, the work factor is how hard is it, um, how, uh, how much work, how much money, how many systems do we have to put into breaking this, this system. Uh, that's the work factor. I mean, you know, there's, there's work involved in the computation as well, but they, the work factor term when we're talking about encryption, we are talking about the, uh, the attacking, the cryptanalysis part. Um, okay, uh, plain text or clear text, that is the original message, the original material. We tend to talk about messages even if we are not, um, you know, if, if it's static material, a file, and we're not transmitting it anywhere, it's still technically the message. Um, uh, even if it's a piece of software, that's a file that we have encrypted for some reason. So um, that is uh, in plain text or clear text. Um, the... Uh, ciphertext, uh, also possibly known as the cryptogram. That's the result when we have encrypted it. So, uh, you know, mm, encryption, uh, enciphering, encoding uh, is the process of taking our message, our file, our original material, whatever it may be, and turning it into something that somebody else can't recognize, can't uh, understand what we were doing, can't read it, can't use it, whatever. That, um, uh, like I uh, mentioned before, um, we tend to use the terms encipher, encrypt, encode interchangeably 
and uh, we do have to be careful when we talk about code because code does have other specific meanings um, in technology, certainly, but also in uh, the field of encryption itself when we talk about things like code books. So, um, the, uh, and, and then, of course, once we, you know, we, we have encrypted something, and like I say, now it's hidden, but we want to get it back. Uh, yeah, well, very often we want to get it back. There are certain things, and we will talk about things like hashing, um, where uh, we, we do not necessarily want to recover. As a matter of fact, in some cases, it is impossible to recover uh, the information. But um, we have uh, a, a use for it. But for the most part, when we are encrypting, we're talking about... Um, encrypting it and then being able to retrieve it. And of course that uh, action is known as decrypting, deciphering, or decoding. Again, you know, the terms uh, used pretty much interchangeably. So, uh, crypto system, algorithm, key or crypto variable, key or address space, key clustering, work factor, plain text and clear text, cipher text and cryptogram, and cipher, encrypt and code, decipher, decrypt, decode. Hopefully uh, all of that is now clear and uh, we can get on with things.